Tackle junkies. What's going on, fellas? I was just fishing with Phantom Fishing. He just took off. And we made a video on the other lake on this property. Caught some good fish. My biggest was like, I don't know, 460, something like that. I think he caught a one like 420. He caught some threes. I mean, it was a good day. But I really didn't talk too much about how I was fishing the vile craw. So I wanted to make a fast video for you guys showing you how I was fishing it. Now, obviously, there's many ways you can fish a craw type bait. Jig trailer, football jig, wobble head, Texas rig, pitch and flip it. But be honest, with the kicking action of the vile craw, I do the best swimming it. And I don't know if they think it's a crawfish or if they think it's a bluegill or whatever, but swimming it for me really has worked out the best. So that's what we're going to do for about an hour or so. Just walk around this pond here so we can get a few fish and again talk about how I'm fishing this bait. If I plan to pitch and flip this bait, I'm either going to use a straight shank flipping hook or I'm going to use maybe an extra wide gap, something like that. But since I like to swim it, I'm going to use this Mustad grip pin swim hook. Again, it's got a vertical eye, comes through cover and grass really, really well. A um, little bit different angle up here on the neck. It just, it's just a great hook, in my opinion, for swimming a soft plastic. Just a quick Texas rig here. Go in. Rotate the hook. Line her up. Go straight in the bait. Bury the tip, make her weedless. Make sure that you broke the claws apart here. We are good to go. I got 15 pounds Seaguar and Vizex on here. We have a quarter ounce Picasso gunmetal tungsten. We have the Akuma TCS 66 reel. And then we have the TCS jig worm rods, the seven foot heavy with a moderate action. All right, guys. We came over here to the windblown bank. I really only have like 10, 15 minutes and I gotta get out of here. But um, I just wanna tell you guys really how I was fishing the vile crawl, which is a swimming type crawl. Now, you hear me saying it's a crawfish type bait. Now, just because it's a crawl type bait, really, depending how you work it and the color you choose, really will determine what the bass think it is. You know, if I'm trying to imitate a crawfish, I may throw like a black and blue, I may throw a green pumpkin, um, what else could we throw, a bama craw, something like that, you know, um, but I also think bama craw kind of looks like a bluegill as, as well, and again, it's, it's all how you work it, so if you want to work a crawfish type color on the bottom, the bass may think it's a crawfish, if you may swim a crawfish type color, it kind of looks like a bluegill, so they may think it's a bluegill, if you want to throw like a white one, and they're on shad, it's going to look like a shad to them. So again, just how you work the bait and the color you choose really will determine um, what they think it looks like. So for the most part, guys, I cast it out and I steady reel it in. I will pop the rod, stop and start, and things like that, just like I would a spinner bait or even like a swim jig. Just steady retrieve, pop the rod. What I'll do too is I'll throw it out. Let's say I'm by a lay down right here, which I, I kind of am right there. Let's say that's a sweet spot right there. I'll give it a couple hops. Once I feel that I've worked that sweet spot, then I'll go ahead and reel it back to me. So really I'm covering a lot of water. But you can do the same thing. You can just troll a bank, even walk a bank if you're a bank fisherman, and just pitch a crawl all along the bank there but I can cover the same amount of water much faster by throwing it out and reeling it back to me. And kind of what I do is I'll use this technique and once I locate some fish, then I'll slow down and I'll pitch that area. So you can actually just cover more water, swim in it, find the fish, then slow down and work on them. Now I'm just hopping it off the bottom again. They could think it looks like a crawfish, maybe a little bluegill or something like that pecking on the bottom. Again, we really don't know what they think it is work it whatever way you have the most confidence in. And like I said, if a bass is there, they're gonna hit it. If I see a snake, oh no. I see a snake, I'm gonna be running.
There we go. Oh, he come off. Strike. There we go. Oh, he come off. He come off. Dang it. That was a fish. That was a fish. Dang it. Last cast. We gotta go. No, oh, why are they not taking it? We done. Tackle junk, as you've seen it, man. Three strikes and I'm out, I'm out of time. But uh, the purpose of this video is not to show you guys how many fish I could catch on the vile crawl, more or less show you guys how I was fishing the vile crawl in the previous video when I was fishing with Phantom Fishing. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out, I'll link it down below. But you know, like I said in this video, you know, just swimming the vile crawl works best for me. I can cover more water. You know, I can imitate crawfish, bluegill shad, just by how I retrieve the bait and just changing color. So guys, experiment with different retrieves different um, techniques see what works best for you but like i said swimming it works best for me i can cover more water and hopefully catch more fish so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did thumbs up thanks for watching we will talk to you soon